Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, and I am here with the second in my two-part series all about spirit guides. In the first video, I talked about why an animal communicator or an animal healer would need a spirit guide and how they have helped my spirit guides have helped me personally and professionally. So if you haven't watched that one, there's a link in the comments below and definitely go check that out because that will kind of orient you to spirit guides and how they work. And in this video, I want to share three ways that you can connect with your spirit guide. And for those of you who don't know what a spirit guide is, a spirit guide is really an assistant, a, um, a non-physical spiritual assistant who's on the other side, who's not in physical form, who is in other dimensions, however you want to think about it, but their job is to help and support you. And so they kind of harness the forces of nature on our behalf and they work with all of nature, all of the universe to help us grow, to help us become better people, to help us learn the lessons that we're here to learn, to help us share our gifts more fully with the world. And they really help us to make the important connections that we need to make with other people, places, ideas, to make our lives better. They're just they're just freaking awesome. And so if you know that intrigues you to have your own spirit guide and have a relationship and a connection with that spirit guide, then um, stay tuned because I'm going to talk about three ways that you can connect today with your spirit guide. So let's talk about number one. Number one is acknowledging and affirming that you have a spirit guide. So this step is, is actually, it sounds simple, but in some ways it's the most challenging because it can be a paradigm shift for some of us. And for me, it definitely was to, to shift into, um, you know, it's kind of like that old uh, Christmas movie. I believe, I believe it's silly, but I believe. Um, Miracle on 34th Street. So it's kind of like that, like it's out of our normal, for most of us, our normal regular daily routine, our, our paradigm of how we see the world and what's happening in it. And to know and understand that we have somebody who's assigned to us, who wants to help us, is kind of a, a challenging belief to hold on to, to, to wrap our minds around. But that's the first way to connect, is to just really affirm that you have that guide, you have that connection, and you're going to now look for confirmation of that. So you're going to ask for a sign, you're going to ask for something to happen, you're going to ask for a dream, a way to understand, but you're going to affirm that you have a spirit guide. And that's number one. Ask for help when you do that. So just ask for help and then watch what happens. And when miracles happen and connections happen and you're surprised that you get what you want, remember that you asked for it and it came from your spirit guide. Don't um, talk yourself out of it with like, oh, well, that was going to happen anyways. No, you affirmed that you had your spirit guide, you reached out and asked for help. And that is the easiest way to connect with your spirit guide and start to see how they are working in your life. Number two is to meet your spirit guide in a dream. And this can happen two ways. You can ask for your spirit guide to make his or her presence known in your dream state. And we are just so much more receptive and open to those connections and that information and those um, interactions when we're in our dream state. So you can ask your, your spirit guide to make him or herself known in your dreams. And then just keep a little journal next to your bed or a pen and paper. And when you wake up in the morning, just write down whatever your impressions are of what happened and just get into that habit and you will start to develop that ability and that connection with your guide. One of my guides, my, I, I refer to her as my spiritual teaching guide. Um, she just started showing up in my dreams. I kept waking up having had like a dream where I had met her. And it was always the same person. We always had different conversations in the dreams. The dreams were always different, but she was identifiable. And I then did what I'm going to tell you to do in step three, um, to connect with her consciously and intentionally. 
So watch your dreams. If you keep having a dream about somebody, they may be a spirit guide who's attempting to contact you and go for it. Or if you want to ask your spirit guide to come and make, you know, visit you in your dreams, you can do that as well. And I just do that with a simple affirmation kind of request before I go to sleep. And I just go, hey, spirit guide out there, wherever you are, you know, I'd love to visit with you. Come and visit me in my dreams. Um, and that works, believe it or not. It's that simple. It can work. So just pay attention. A lot of this is about just being aware and paying attention. And then the third method for connecting with your spirit guide is to create an intentional connection in meditation with your guide. So really um, sit down, go into a deep meditation, ask for your spirit guide to come forward, have a list of questions ready, like who are you, what do you do, how do I know you're here, those kinds of things, and have that conversation. And that's what I ended up doing with that guide who just started coming to me in my dreams. I sat down with my friend and I was like, I'm having these dreams. I don't know who this is. And she's like, well, let's find out. And so she guided me through a meditative process where um, she facilitated a conversation between me and that spirit guide. And we actually ended up signing a contract to work together. It was really cool. So it, things can happen in so many different ways. You just have to be open to whatever shows up and let it be. But making that intentional connection with your guide um, is a really powerful way to to initiate that relationship and make it two-sided and make it more in your, your, your awareness level so that you are reaching out to somebody that you can see, even if it's just in your mind's eye or you feel, you can sometimes feel their presence or you can see the effect of what they're doing. But um, what I found over the dozen years or so that I've been working with my spirit guides is that's the first step and the relationship grows from there. So you can um, get more information about who they are and what they look like and what it feels like when they're around you and what messages they have. It gets easier and easier to receive those messages from them to see when they're working on your behalf and all that stuff. Um, and that is why I've created the Meet Your Spirit Guide class, which I'm offering this August of 2020, a live class where I'll walk you through that process and I'll help you get into that meditative receptive state where you can um, reach out to your spirit guide and have a conversation that I'll guide you through all of the basics that you need to know when you meet your spirit guide about who they are, why they're there, how they want to work with you, what's the best way for you to contact them, what they can help you with, all those kinds of things. It's a super fun class and we have a great time in that class. And um, my students in this class have created relationships that have lasted for years with their spirit guides. But again, you have to take that first step. So if you have a sense that you have a spirit guide you haven't connected with, you know, start just asking for help and seeing what happens or ask for them to come to you in a dream or come on over to my class and I'll walk you through the process with a whole group of people. The group energy is really powerful, really enhances the whole experience and, and makes it just easier for everybody to connect. But whatever you do, know that you have a spirit guide. There's somebody out there working with you and for you and it's really, you know, it's, it's us humans who are the weak link in the chain. We just have to become aware of it. And sometimes that's, that just changes everything. Once we have that initial connection and that initial awareness, then the whole relationship just snowballs from there and really, really amazing, cool things can happen. So there's information in the comments below about the first video in this series and also about the Meet Your Spirit Guide class. I hope to see you in the class. And if I don't, I hope it's because you've connected with your spirit guide on your own and you're out living the good life and everything's going really well for you. Either way, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye everybody.